check, check, mic check, ah ha ha. I be the anti myth for rhythm rock shocker. Yes, now bless now, don't forget the rest now, Des. King of the Pit signing in live and large. Yo, we're listening to another Nightwish record, start to finish. You know how we do it. This one's entitled Oceanborn. And this track in particular that opens the record is entitled Stargazers, okay? I'm doing this for the Nightwish Army. I know there's a bit of debate on the vocalists, the front women and so on and so forth, but we're going to go through the discography, okay? Last record I did was the very first record. Now we're on to the second record and we're going to roll on through and see what we think, okay? So let's go straight into it. Stargazers. Already got straight into it. Wow, already. This record seems a lot more mature from that initial record. Wow, these guitar sections and the keys. And the stabs, really good. Nice, we've got lyrics to this. Like how the rhythm guitar is just playing simple power chords and dragging them on a little bit. But that double kick just pedalling away. Keeps the tempo and the energy super high. And almost sounds like the palm muting is still going on when it's not the case. I think the bass line is following that kick though. Great harmony. That drummer is just pedaling along this entire tune. Really good. Heavy metal. Wow.
The lead guitars on this already have just been incredible. Really good. The drumming as well, the production on the drumming is fantastic. And now I finally see the lyrics, which I haven't seen prior. I can see the deep depth of like... Um, open fantasy discovery we just sort of come across really good I wonder if that lead guitar was written before the vocal line was put on or the lead guitar was put on after the vocal line was put on. So I wonder if she did the vocals atop of like a complete instrumental or whether she put the vocals on the rhythm and then the lead guitarist thought, you know what, we'll, we'll double that up with a harmonising guitar bit. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, really good. High energy. Really high energy. We've got track two, Gethsemane, next. If I pronounced that right, I'm glad there's no advertisements. <laughs> <laughs> 